So I was wondering to myself, how coherent will one of these still image reconstructions of a missing Doctor Who episode be when sped up at a minute in length? I guess that's what we're going to find out today. You know, it really is a shame that this is missing. Some of the outdoor photography, I believe they shot this in Wales, to the double for Tibet. Looks good, sets great, costumes are cool. It's amazing how much energy they, and effort they were able to put into a production that had such limited funding compared to even the Hammer genre films which they were attempting to emulate at that time. Troughton's such a remarkable performer. I, he may be the most, it's ironic to say he's the most watchable Doctor given that he is, in a technical and a logistical sense, he's the least watchable of the Doctors given how little of it's available, though you can listen to a heck of a lot of it at least. Pertwee and Baker are the only Doctors I can say that I prefer in confidence, honestly. For I do really like the Davison era in terms of its goofy B-movie production values. I, I do, do have, have a, a soft, soft spot, spot for absolutely for the Merca and Warriors of the Deep, I have to admit. Anyway, we'll be getting into behind-the-scenes information over the next three episodes. Because this is a six-parter, I didn't want to just drown out all of this in an early episode and have nothing to say over the, the last few so that's what's going on here enjoy this little experiment hey it's going to be closer to a minute and 15 seconds maybe even a minute and a half wouldn't that be exciting we'll make it that way anyway and we'll cut the audio early thanks again my good and dear friends